So Wisconsin and Michigan are set to face off on Valentine's Day at the Kohl Center, and both teams are coming off tough losses. Wisconsin blew a 17-point lead at Nebraska, lost in overtime, and Michigan lost by one against one of the hottest teams in the country in the Indiana Hoosiers. Um, but this this game's going to be interesting. I think it'll be highly competitive, um, but this is a rivalry game now. There, there will be no love lost tomorrow. After what happened last year, you know, Jawan Howard was full court pressing Wisconsin's walk-ons and, and they were deep into their bench and Michigan still had some rotational players. I believe they had one of their starters in They're full court pressing. They're about to get a 10 second violation. I believe if my memory uh, serves me correct. And then guard called a timeout to reset the, the 10 second timing. Um, so his walk-ons wouldn't turn the ball over and Howard went to the line said, Hey, I won't forget about that guard. tries stopping him to explain himself. And, if you watch in the past handshakes, both of them, they, they shook hands and they pat each other on the back. That's what guard did, but he kind of stopped them. And Howard, you know, with guards intimidating five foot 11 Cobb, Wisconsin scrap that he has to him, felt the need to protect himself. Oh yeah, it was more than that. Yeah. 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 Touching, touching me unnecessary would have, wasn't cause for that when we were talking. And at that, at that point, you know, I thought that was, you know, time to protect myself. And that the rest was history. He, he slapped Joel Krabenhoff. Not happy about that timeout. Yo, and Jawan Howard just threw a right hand. You know, and then the presser, he said that Wisconsin, um, what did he say? He said that yeah, it wasn't a full court press. It was uh, a pressure five and that, uh, yeah, he felt the need to protect himself. And then uh, he apologized. <laughs> I got it. This is pretty funny. He apologized to Joel Krabenhoff in his PR statement. I don't know if that was a troll move or if that was just uh, a typo. But anyways, back into the matchup. Um, Michigan's really talented. They have a bunch of guys. I believe their top seven, eight guys are all top 100 players. Um, when you look at Michigan's bench, they have Joey Baker and Terrace Reed. We're both top 40 guys coming out of high school. Uh, Baker, number 37 in the class of 2018. And Reed, uh, number 31 in the class of 2022. Um, you look at Wisconsin, they have a, a lot of former walk-ons coming off their bench. And their production just hasn't been there. Um, so Michigan's got more talent than Wisconsin on their roster. More athleticism, more depth. Um, Jet Howard's an NBA player. Uh, Hunter Dickinson, as much as we may not like him or college basketball fans around the country may not like him. Uh, he's a really good college player. And then you you flip it to Wisconsin starting lineup. Their, their starting lineup was looking really good earlier this year. Even with Wall coming back, it has been great. Um, and I, I knew that performance Wall had against Penn State was going to be tough to replicate because if you watch his performance, he was getting good position on the entry passes, and then he was scoring in the post. None of it was slashing. I don't think since he's returned from his injuries, he's had one bucket slashing to the hoop. He's Wisconsin's only slasher, and he can't slash. He's Wisconsin's only athlete, but he's not athletic at the moment. Just because, And it's not his fault. His ankle just isn't where it needs to be to be explosive and athletic. And in hindsight, Wisconsin probably should have sat him out longer so his ankle could heal, because I don't know how well your ankle can heal when you're playing basketball on the time. But I've been that drum enough. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick Michigan to win this in a close one. Um, I, I, it'll be interesting to see how the Cole center turns up. You know, both teams might be a little, or the, the Cole center crowd might be a little deflated. Um, after, you know, it was like, Oh, Wisconsin, they, they played their first good game of the calendar year. First time in the calendar year, they scored over 70 against uh, Penn state. And then they were up 17 quickly to Nebraska. It's like, Hey, are they figuring it out? Are they getting the train back on track? Kind of looking like the team we saw in November and December. But no, it fell apart. Um, and yeah, you know, this, sirens are up. It's not totally over. Wisconsin has three winnable games coming up at home. That would be quality wins. If they if they can, you know, do decent in these next few games, things can turn around. But it's not looking great at all. Um, but it, it, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, yeah, and this, that's all I got for you. Um, stay tuned. I, I'll have another video coming out where I discuss a Joe Krabinoff. Uh, versus Juwan Howard fight and what that would look like. So make sure to check out that video. And if it's your first video with me, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.